We're in the village of Bradfield St. Clair, and this is the Church of St. Clair. From what I understand, it's named not after a saint, but after the family of called St. Clair. And it's absolutely delightful little church. The day is not so delightful because it's raining. But here we've got lots of beautiful old headstones here. We'll have a look at the rest of this lovely gate here with a gravel path coming up to it and a very picturesque Suffolk country churchyard set in the fields surrounded by trees many old headstones no sign of recent ones but some very unusual ones very impressive, the, look at these. Eighteen ninety-seven. Bench over here. And the wheelie bins. nice flowers have been left some more re recent headstones here nineteen ninety three a beautiful setting here the edge of the churchyard we've got trees some graves under the trees a little gate with a footpath going out into the Suffolk countryside glorious look at that Some graves over there under the trees. What a lovely sight. It's a real picture postcard, even in the rain. The rain is coming down, but the church looks beautiful. Let's have a look inside. Some big trees here. Birds are singing, even in this cold April weather. Little door. Another porch here with a window at the side. Bradfield, St. Clair. Oh. Locked. Well, unfortunately, another church that's locked, so we can't have the pleasure of looking at that church. That's sad, but it's a lovely little church in a beautiful setting, Suffolk countryside, but locked to visitors. Nice flint at the bottom little squares and a tower it's in quite lovely condition actually the 
churchyard is quite sort of vacant on this side. They're full of birds singing. So we bid a fond farewell on a rainy day to Bradfield St. Clair and the Church of St. Clair which we unfortunately were not able to access. <laughs>